Hey guys, in this face painting class, we're gonna learn how to face paint Marshall from Paw Patrol. So for the Paw Patrol hat, I just wanna start up above the eyebrows and I'm gonna go around and do a nice clean arch all the way across the forehead. Then with that same brush, I'm going to do a stroke up, in, and then I'm going to do a peak right up to the top and downward. Loading up the split cake again. This split cake is a global colour split cake. So up, up, and going down. From here on, across again, and then downward. Now on the sides, I'm just gonna take it out and do a little loop. And then again on the other side, do another loop coming inward. I'm gonna fill in that area. Just gonna bring that a lot more straight. Just bring it into a straight line. Picking up some excess paint with a sponge right in the middle where we will draw on the pour. Now for the pour, I'm going to do a semicircle coming down or a U shape, filling that in. With my brush nicely loaded, I'm going to go ahead and do three dots. The middle one being the largest one. So that's when we really press the, the brush down right in the middle to get more paint off. Now I'm just gonna draw a line above here and then do a diagonal, another diagonal, and then I'm gonna bring it right down into like a shield shape just with some white. Loading up some black with that number four brush. I'm just gonna fill in the areas outside the pores. Now using this Tag Magpie, split cake, I'm going to pick up just the grey and the white and from the edges here, from the edges of the hat, I'm going to bring in the edge of the dog's face. I'm going to bring it right down to where the nose is, bringing it down into a C and then curving it around the cheek and bringing it right over to where the nose is. Just gonna carry it over, over the nose. And then along the side, this is where the, the dog's ears hang. So I'm just going to continue that. So from an angle here, I'm gonna cover a smaller area and then bringing it flat so I cover more of an area and then bringing it into a small loop right at the end. Bringing it to an angle so that the ear comes out and outward. Bringing it to a loop down the bottom. While this bit up here dries, we're going to just cover it all in. You can use a filbert brush or a sponge. You can use whichever method you like, but we're just gonna cover it in and try and get that, that white fur in. Using that number six brush again, I'm going to load it up with some black, the uh, dots. So pressing down quite heavily to get some bigger spots and then doing some spots on the edge, along the dog's ear. So 
So smaller spots we're barely touching and larger spots we're pressing our, our brush right down to get some bigger spots. In a number six brush, I'm just making sure that the tip of the brush is nice and fine just by flattening it, flattening it out with the paint. So now I'm just going to lightly touching, I'm going to outline the edge of the dog's face. So barely touching, I can achieve a smaller brush stroke, a thinner brush stroke. Now just with the thinner number four brush, I'm just going to outline past this white to define the shield. On top of it, there's a step that comes from here and then upward and it comes back down along here and then it comes down again. And then from here, it's going to come outward and then down, outward and down. And then the outer edges of the hat. Now to finish off, just outlining the top of the Paw Patrol's hat. Now last but certainly not least, we need to paint on the Paw Patrol's nose. So we'll just do a little arch along here and stop up to about there halfway and fill it right in. Now there you have an easy Paw Patrol face paint. This one's really popular with the boys. With that one stroke, it really gives it a dimensional look for the hat, as well as with the one stroke edging. Thanks for watching. If you got something out of this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any face painting related questions or you need something that you need clarified, make sure you comment down below and I'll do my absolute best to share my knowledge with you in the next video. I'm on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to follow me so we don't miss each other for the next one. Until next time, happy painting.